All right, let's get into it. What should we start with? Let's start with our breakfast sandwich. Should we start with drinks first? Sure. Huh. <laughs> Why did you ask? Oh, because I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna say drinks. <laughs> Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tucson. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a croissant sandwich and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. We're here in the beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia and we have a super special one today, don't we? I feel like it's super special. I've been waiting so long for us to visit this place. And here we are. Where are we at today? Today we had breakfast at To Live For. And what is To Live For about? It's all vegan and it's a cafe. And it's brand new, isn't it? Well, it's kind pretty of. new. I feel like we missed the opening because we were traveling. But now we are ready to eat and review. Interior, what's it like? They have a few tables by the window and some nooks that we sat in that was kind of cool. This place is so busy, so popular. It's a little bit hard to get a seat, but we were lucky enough to sit down. I couldn't really look at their menu because they don't seem to have a set menu online. So I looked at their Instagram pictures to see what I thought looked good. And the breakfast croissant sandwich was recommended by everyone. Amir spoke to Erin Ireland, the owner of this cafe, and she recommended it as well. And we also got a pommier and she gave us a hazelnut cake. No, she also gave us a pommier as well. Yeah. So we already had got one and yeah. then she gifted us yeah. a hazelnut cake, a pommier, which was very kind of her. And we ordered a mocha and a lavender latte. What should we start with? Let's start with our drinks. I ordered a lavender latte because I like lavender in foods and drinks. And this one was subtle, but still I could taste the lavender. Like it wasn't overpowering. Sometimes it can be too floral, but this was a pretty good version. And their default milk is oat milk. What did you think of my lavender latte? I actually quite liked it. I couldn't taste the lavender. I had no idea there was lavender in it, but it was very tasty, super rich. It tasted a little bit chocolatey, actually. I don't know, maybe that was the lavender I was tasting. I don't know, <laughs> but it tasted super rich, super yummy. I approve of it, 100%. One, One two, two, three. Boom, five. So surprised you like that lavender latte because I feel like I've gotten lavender other items and you've been like, whoa. Not for me. Yeah, I couldn't even taste the lavender, so it was very, very subtle. Now let's talk about the mocha. It is very hard to come across vegan mocha and a good one at that, mm. I feel. This one was really good. Super rich, super chocolatey, super smooth. Couldn't possibly be better. What do you think? Very smooth, very chocolatey. I felt it was almost like drinking hot chocolate. The coffee was not overpowering, so I liked it a lot. But the coffee was definitely there. It like, was there, but yeah. very chocolatey. Love it. Should we do it? One, One two, two, three. three. Boom, another five. What should we do next? Let's do the breakfast sandwich. What do you think? I love croissants. This one was so flaky. I don't know how they've done it. One of the best vegan croissants I've ever had. And then inside it was like a just egg and BioLife cheese and some arugula. It was delicious. They heated it up. It melted so nicely. It was such a good breakfast sandwich. And I thought the price was very reasonable. What did you think? I love this sandwich as well. Like you said, super flaky, super fresh, nice and moist and warm. The just egg was great in it. The cheese was great. I'm not a big fan of arugula, but, but it was good in this. I couldn't, I couldn't really taste it. It could have used some kind of a protein, like sausage or some kind of a bacon or something. Protein that is egg. I get, I get that, I get that. But 
it would have it would have benefited from some kind of a fake meat, I think. But other than that, it was great. It was a perfect sandwich. Should we do it? Yeah. One, One two, two, three. three. Boom. Let's talk about pommier. What the hell ever that is. I didn't know what a pommier was. I've never had a non-vegan version, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But Aaron said it is made of croissant dough rolled up and it's a sweet pastry. I wouldn't personally have chosen this pastry. It was okay. But you did. I know, based on everyone's recommendations, it was okay. I don't think it was the most appealing when I looked at the display case. There were so many pastries that looked good to me. So this one was okay. What did you think? Yeah, before before we went in, we ran to our friend Jordan from Plant Curious, and he recommended the Palmier as well. And he was like, "Oh, I've never seen a vegan Palmier before." And I was like, "I do want better, fam. I've never seen a Palmier, period." But we tried it. I'm with Diana on this. It was good. It wasn't bad, but it didn't blow me away. Would I get it again? If that's the only thing they have, vegan. But there's better options there, for sure. Should we do it? One, One, two, two three. three. Before we get to the hazelnut cake, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Subscription. Give us a subscribe if you like what you see. You're still here. That means you're liking it. So press that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss an episode. We're almost at that 1,000 subscription mark. I know it's nothing to a lot of you big time YouTubers, but to us, let's move on to the hazelnut cake. <laughs> I love this cake. Nice and moist, super chocolatey, nice and layered, very tasty. What do you think? Really good cake. Like Amir said, moist, lots of hazelnuts on there. Chocolate and hazelnut are a great combination. It was yeah, a great Nutella. Yeah, exactly. One, One, two, two three. three. Boom, another five. Would you ever go back to, to live for again? I absolutely would. I wanted to try so many other things. I saw people getting like boxes of six pastry items and I was like, oh my God, there's so many pastry items. And they have specials like today, I saw a little girl eating a lemon meringue croissant and it looked really good as well. I want to try the soft serve ice cream, but I just couldn't eat all that for breakfast. So definitely another visit. I 100% agree. I saw the little girl eating the lemon croissant as well. And I thought to myself, I could take her. I could, I could. But her I parents could. are Oh there. yeah, they look tough. They look tough. <laughs> but yes, I absolutely would go back as well. I thought it was really good. And there's lots of other stuff I'd like to try. And it's an all vegan bakery. Like what the hell, why wouldn't I go? So good, I want to go, I want to go. I love it. Should we wrap this up and go back? Okay. Take a look at this video on Amir's face. It's another vegan cafe called Feast and Fallow that we visited and reviewed. They actually carry some to live for stuff as well there, so kind of works out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.